Hi everyone, I'm Miss Samantha A, and you are watching SGNS, the super geeky nerdy show. I'm a cosplayer, and as a cosplayer, I'd like to bring to you my top 10 useful tips for making sure your cons run smoothly. Number one. Make sure you arrive early. Map checking, everything else, you can have your whole lineup just set up for your entire day. If you're pre-purchasing any tickets or any events that require your ID, just make sure you have it on you at all times. There are many creative ways that you could utilize your ID into your costume, such as lanyards, chains, as long as you have it on you. Identification is the most important part to have with you. Number two. Let's talk about physics. And when it comes to physics, costumes may not exactly stay on as long as we hope. Emergency backup kits are the best thing that you can have on you. No one is prepared for, let's say, a wardrobe malfunctions. Nobody wants to be left off exposing themselves because while we're all in a friendly place, it can still be quite embarrassing. Definitely bring tape. Tape fixes everything. If you have to, duct tape. Duct tape works wonders. Fabric glue, sewing needles, thread. Number three. Skits are always a great part of cosplay. When doing any type of skits or performances, just make sure to keep it short and sweet. Well, little things can go a long way. Number four, let's make sure you have plenty of friends with you. Not only for safety purposes, you wanna make sure that your friends are there to help you have lots of fun and make it the best experience that you can. Friends are also there besides fun. They're great guides, especially when you are in limited mobility or you can't see. I've had friends help me from almost being eaten by an escalator and because of that, now I'm scared of escalators, but we won't get into that. Number five. Food and water. Stay hydrated and well fed. Most people will spend up to eight hours there and forget to eat. Don't forget to eat. At a con, sodas can go up to $5 and guess what? They don't give you much nutrition and they'll probably make you even more dehydrated. Stay nutritious when thinking of your snacks. Granola bars, bottled waters, these things will help you get through a day smoothly. Number six, don't overdo it. If you get tired, take your breaks. You could stay in cosplay as long as you want, but some of us, we just can't make it all day. As a cosplayer, I've spent close to eight hours in six inch heels and while it looks nice, can be very, very uncomfortable and will leave you sore for the next couple of days. Always bring a pair of backup shoes, flats, sneakers, flip flops, anything comfortable that you would just like to feel great walking in. Number seven, swords and any type of weaponry. When handling your weaponry, you would handle it the way you would in real life. Avoid smacking people in the face or poking any eyes out. Accidents happen and they can be pretty bad. Number eight, make sure you have your helping of vitamin C. In a place infested with multiple people, germs tend to build up. Wash your hands. Shaking people's hands, you don't know where your hands have been, then I feel sorry for you, but make sure you get those hands washed. Number nine, proper hygiene. Nobody wants to be near you if you stink, especially in a big place crowded with a bunch of nerds like us. Ah, it's just a no-go. Here's a tip. Use the one, two, five rule. Shower once a day, eat at least two meals per day, and get five hours of sleep. Number 10. Now, this is for you girls and some guys out there. When you're drinking out of cups and you just don't want to ruin that gorgeous lipstick you've been applying all day long for that awesome cosplay of yours, a great tip for this would be to use straws. Some people will also use prosthetics and this will also make it easier so you don't crease said prosthetics and ruin that hard work and makeup process. Straws come in very handy, especially with those drinks Okay, those are all the tips that I have for you today. It all goes towards you having a wonderful con experience. The number one tip you should always follow is to have fun. We're all geeks and nerds here. We want you to have the best experience you can at one of these conventions. Again, this is Miss Samantha A, and you can follow me at Miss Samantha A Cosplay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video right here, make sure you go over and watch this video over here. And when you're done with that one, check out this video over here. And if you like everything, subscribe down here. Click on us. Share the love, comment, leave any type of uh, feedback for us and we're willing to hear. 